Hey guys, what is up here? It's your boy Cool Titanium 68, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Oh my gosh, it is now developer three of nine. Yes, for those of you, this is your first time, we are in a video series going over every E3 developer I'm at a conference. We've already went through Electronic Arts and Microsoft. And actually, Electronic Arts is going to have a big year with Anthem because hopefully that will be released. And with Microsoft, they're planning to hopefully release Halo 6. And maybe a new, and maybe we'll see something about a new Elite controller. Pretty cool. Now, let's go to one of the uh, smaller, but probably well, actually pretty well known uh, people. So we're going to look at Bethesda. So they're, so let's see what kind of, what they're going to try and do. So, um, looks like they're definitely going, so it looks like Rage 2 is definitely going to be coming in for E3 2018. Um, man, a lot of these games are expected to launch like spring of 2019. I mean, it's like the fifth game that I've seen and this and it's like the fifth like the seventh or eighth game this series that I've seen a game being released in spring of 2019 looks like the spring of 2019 is going to be a pretty big year f to get new games i need to remember that but yeah looks like it was supposed to be released like at E3 but they accidentally like just used like a bunch of trailers oops yeah so it looks like, um, well, yeah. So, the early access game, Quake Champions, will definitely get a say in E3 2018. And it looks like this fall, that it, the full release of the game, will be coming out. So, that'll be cool. Um, so, the... So, one of the games uh, named Prey is planning to hear about we're planning to hear about a DLC from them. That'll be cool. Um maybe we might Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe we might see a Doom 2 reboot. I mean if many, if any of y'all have seen the uh, reboot, of, the 2016 reboot of Doom, that's been critically acclaimed as being one of the best games of the year. Not joking. And seeing that we may have a sequel to that game, we may even see um, Doom 2: Hell on Earth's reboot. So we might see a reboot. We might see the sequel of a. Re we might see the reboot of the sequel's reboot. If that's kind of confusing, basically, Doom 2 is going to be a sequel to, to Doom, which is a reboot of the game, and I don't know, remember when. But, if it follows chronologically, they could probably reboot Doom 2 Hell on Earth. That would actually, I've actually not played that game. That might be something cool. Um... Uh, so yeah. So yeah, it definitely looks like that um Yeah, I think also that Cita's gonna look at uh trying to bring stuff into Nintendo's stuff, so um of course uh Skyrim will be launching well Skyrim launched to uh, the Switch in twenty seventeen. Wolfenstein 2 is going to arrive uh, on June 29th. And it looks like um, the new Colossus. Yeah. Well, oh, no, sorry. And maybe we might even see a new thing about um, Fallout 4 coming in, coming on to a uh, Switch. I don't know. Uh, ba, 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 ba. 
Yeah, so... It looks like... Actually, I think another question for us would be... At the Cedar... That's Bethesda Game Studios. What could we see? Because... For the past couple of years... Um, they've been working on putting bringing Doom and Skyrim to VR after Fallout 4. But... It looks like we may see another game. That we may even see a new game called Starfield. It's actually, I think that was actually supposed to be released. That may, that was actually supposed to be announced at E3 last year, but never was. So we might even be able to see that this year. I don't know. But yeah, I think I think we. Yeah, I do think the Beth Bethesda. Has been working on Elder Scroll. Has been working on Elder Scroll Six, especially since if you look up Elder Scroll Six, there are a lot of rumors about that. We might even see that, or we might even see Fallout Five. I don't even know if there's even going to be a Fallout Five. I don't know. So, yeah, we will. We will definitely see what Bethesda is going to show, because. Bethesda is kind of like, we're kind of curious about what they're going to bring. Because, well, we don't know. I mean, Fallout 4 was a pretty big thing. Uh, it was a pretty, yeah, so it was basically a pretty big thing about uh, when Fallout 4 was released on, in 2015. That was actually a pretty big surprise. Now the question is, what are they doing now? I mean, they're trying to bring Doom and Skyrim to VR. Are they still doing it? And if they're done, what, the hell are, what are they going to do now? I mean, we have no clue what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see what they're doing um, on Sunday, June 10th at 8.30 after Microsoft's conference. Yeah, I mean, that means... 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. That's going to be very late for some people. Whew. Man, that's going to be very... This means a very late night. Yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, like and subscribe. Again, this is the third developer out of nine people. Out of the nine developers going to be at E3 2018. Hope you guys actually did see either Microsoft video video about what we want to see from Microsoft or one we see from Electronic Arts because our next video is going to be on Developer Digital. Hope to see you all later. Peace.